Well, today is the day we've been waiting for. We are heading to pick up our new Partridge Chanticleer chickens. I'm taking a road trip with Angie from Me and You Acres and we're heading over to Hickory Croft Farms and we're getting our chickens from them. So this is gonna be an exciting video. Just excited that, you know, Canadian um, homesteaders that are on YouTube are kind of getting together. I'm all ready for the chickens. I've got their water ready. This place is cleaned up. Um, Jason hasn't quite got to um, finishing this off. He's been working a lot, but we will get it done. Anyways, we're excited. I'm just waiting for Angie to come on over. So Angie finally made it. Finally. <laughs> hey, if I'm not burning lasagna or being late somewhere, I'm not me. <laughs> <laughs> so we are heading out to Hickory Croft Farms to get our new chickens. We're so excited. Ah! Yes. I can't wait. I can't wait to meet Chris and Stephanie. Yes. So. Oh boy, that's gonna be fun. I know. Yay! Are you ready, Hannah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go. Let's do this. So we made it to Hickory Croft Farms and we started out our visit with a cute little farm tour of all their wonderful animals. The chickens are coming. <laughs> Look at the bunnies. Are they gorgeous? Oh, you're so cute. Yeah, I'll take them out of there. Oh. Come on, this will be your next thing. You're going to want a bunny. Oh, I didn't hear you. It's okay. Come here. Aw. Look at the bunny. He's friendly. I don't know if it's he or she. There's one girl, one boy in there. Hey. Aww. Oh, you like being out in the sun, don't ya? Hannah's the animal's friend. Yeah. She is. Oh, these bunnies are so friendly. Hey, you. One thing that we really love about these new chickens is that they are cold hardy birds and that they're actually Canadian heritage partridge chanticleer which is something that's really awesome to be able to get into and to be adding to our flock. They would disappear in Ontario for sure. Wow. There's the few people that have, have like a trio. Yeah not enough to keep it going so. They're huge. One thing I would say is if you were ever going to get geese, these are the geese to get. I was terrified of geese. I grew up with, what, were, what is it my parents had? African geese. And they were nasty. What are these? These guys are lovely. What are they called? American buff geese. American buff geese. So they're always that buffy brown color. They're beautiful. Oh, Romeo, you're disappointing me. Hi. Oh, there's pork chop. Hi, pork chop. Hi, Look at you guys. And sorry, how old are they? Uh, these guys are 15 weeks now. Oh, so they're going to get big. Yeah. That's uh, the one more dark on her is speckles. Yeah. And then the one over there with the little speckles on her is paprika. <laughs> this is pork chop. Hey, pork chop. Hey, pork chop. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, come here. Oh, yes. Oh, there it is. Hi, guys. There it is. Hi. Hey. Oh, you guys. Hi. You got a little over. To come get us because it closed. I like that. And I was still there petting my pig. One the pig yeah. that was there. I'm like, no, you can't take me away from the piggy. Are you all jealous? Are you all jealous? This is the part that kind of. Well, I hope you enjoyed this um, farm visit that we had. It, we had such a great time. They have lovely animals. We got to see some pigs and some sheep. And Hannah really enjoyed the, the, the bunnies. Also, we are surrounded by great people. Angie from Me and You Acres, I want you to go and check out her channel. As well as Chris and Stephanie, we were so blessed by just getting to know you guys better. You are so welcoming, so easy to talk to. Um, I hope that if you're watching this video, um, know how much um, it meant to us 
and as well as you who are watching I hope that you will go and check out Hickory Croft Farms as well um, they have some really great stuff out there and there's a lot of really informative information that they give so um, I've learned a lot from them as well as me and you acres I've learned so much from them as well um, this was just a great visit getting together with other Canadian youtubers it's a great way um, to get together and support one another anyways I just want to thank you for those these beautiful birds they are wonderful. I'm really excited to get back into them. Like I said, that we started off with the Partridge Chanticleer at the beginning and um, are getting back into them, um, getting into the um, hard, winter hardy birds that are really good for our climate. Um, not only that, but keeping a heritage bird line going is pretty fantastic. So, and especially even a Canadian heritage bird. You don't want anybody out. Oh. So she's blue, but it's not the same blue as... as her. Yeah. yeah, no, it's a different... The blue has kind of changed yeah. over time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, mm. you ready to go in? Like... So these ones, the ones that you're getting, the two blue ones are a little bit older. They're probably, they're about two weeks older than the yellows. Maybe. And then the rooster's a little bit older than them. So we're really hoping that he's... Give him a little, you know, I don't think he'll be, I don't think he'll be a jerk, but by that, I mean, you know, bugging them when they're not ready to be bugged. Right. Um, but he's gorgeous. Hang on here. Oh, wow. Oh, my husband is going to love you. Oh, I know. You've been in there for a long time today. Oh, he's gorgeous. He's quite a nice bird. He is a nice he's bird. He's fairly black on the chest and he's quite big. He'll still fill in a little bit, but... Yeah, he's gorgeous. Yeah. I like that they have... I'm not going to be too jumpy here. I like... <laughs> really? I like the long... Uh, yeah, the, the, hackle feather. the hackle feathers. Oh, he there. is so, he's so gorgeous. Woo! Okay, well, I won't keep petting you then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Actually, i got to turn um, this a little bit so that... Wait, no, I don't... There we go. And then I don't have to open it up right away. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Oh, is that the other blue one? Yeah. yeah, she's very pretty. We're trying to, it's it's kind of an interesting thing to oh, do the selecting yeah. for, because yeah. for us, the penciling is something that's very important. You want to have the distinct markings and you want the size and you yeah. want, there's so many things to try and select for and you got to kind of, so it's, it's very gradual. Like we're, we're a good 10 years now of doing the selection process yes. and still not to the perfect bird right. because you never will. Gorgeous. Yeah, that's true. But she's got absolutely gorgeous markings. Yes. She is gorgeous. Right? Okay. Wow. I like the lighter colored ones. Chris so likes one, the darker The one you gave ones. us last time, we had a really light, light one. Yeah. There's a difference. Um, she's pretty light though. Yeah, she's lighter. Yeah. Well, it's like, then this one here so is the rooster, burgundy. He's a little on the redder side. Mm -hmm. some, some of them are more mahogany and some of the hens have the copper. the light that the more well there's copper and then there's the goldy like that right? mm. and there's something to that like she's the darker here so even though these two are from the same line one is more goldy one's more coppery and, and so that does seem to play it with the color of the rooster it's like there's almost like there's two very slight color phases in them yeah okay. and we do the whole like keeping if we don't want to go down the line of selecting one or the other we try and keep the variety because really there's something that so few people breed what is right you know it depends like you've got show people that oh this is this this is what's in style now and we want that okay. there you go girl we're almost there so she's darker she's oh yeah darker, she but is she's darker. more the she's more the coppery than the the yellow her goldy color. She's not quite She's as nicely like the penciled, one that we but have now almost. Yeah. See, her penciling is not as detailed. Yeah. But she's but. still a very nice bird in good color. But mm -hmm. yeah, like she's got really nice penciling up top, and, she'll and probably, she has beautiful penciling on her chest. But she's lost it here on the sides, which probably, is something we would try to improve. But it's it's kind of it's a very slow process. She probably produce roosters with the darker mahogany color. Yeah. Let me just look and open. Yep. Yeah. She's like, oh no, not another crate. Out of my I thought it was out of the crate. Yeah. From red to green. Yeah. Oh, she's got a whole bunch of 
punch him in. Yeah. yeah. Hey, girl. Yeah. Oh, nobody's happy about it, I know. Oh, you just had a bad day. You're going to get home to a nice little home. Right. I must, I, I'll probably let him out if I open it. <laughs> I'm that person. I'm the one that lets them all out. <laughs> oh my gosh, so oh, cute. That's great. Oh, they are, uh, this one here is beautiful. I personally like the coppery color yes. more than the dark. Yeah. That lock did dinner. Just making sure you don't check it out. Like no that'll be no fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. It's funny. The back, yeah. Oh. It's also awesome. And it looks like it's raspberry. It is. <laughs> well, I I don't know if you saw our raspberry patches. We came in. Uh, as you drove in, it's right at the end, and because you did your video and you talked about because how how long was the row of raspberries and how because you said you got like forty. We did forty-eight jars. Yeah, Last and I'm year. like I said to Chris, I'm like, oh my gosh, we planted three times that. I can't can all that. <laughs> well, this year I didn't get that much. Oh, but last but year still I did. like that was. Uh, anyways, yeah, no. What was the other thing you want to trade with them one day? If you're ever doing your. Um, uh, they're not gooseberries. Uh, the oh. currants. Oh, okay. Chris Here, would love have... to get. Okay. Because don't they yeah. propagate? Do you propagate oh, yeah. yours? I'm can... learning. <laughs> I haven't successfully done it. <laughs> well, if you're ever successful, you I just put them in the soil. To prune them. I did it. I did a video on it because uh, Pam gave me some, and I had some. My bushes were knocked over, and so wh whoever lived there before put a skid right on top of them. Uh, okay. So I wanted to plant. I never did plant them again because we moved, but we have... I think you yeah. can air layer them. They, they take the plastic bag and you put some soil in it around a piece of branch and it'll grow roots. Okay. And then you can, once then you it cut the, the branch root, off. you can cut the branch off and you got a cutting. I'm pretty sure that's how they do it. I think it's called air layering. But I've never done it. <laughs> yeah, he's he's like, oh, I want to get currants. Can you oh, wow, okay, there's so many up there. We were watching so the video because you had all three kinds. Oh yeah. And because we used to, well, we used to have the black the red one. Lake, the red lake and the black and the at our old place. One. And we should have dug them up when we moved here, but we kind of they grow like, oh, fast. So do you dig dig up everything when you move? You know, like that's one of those. I, I champagne or my I did the ones that you, <laughs> but they're not yeah, they're, they're so good. good. Yeah. That's the part that because I'm like someone I like to plant something and have like lots yeah and if i have to choose between a good tasting that gives me little and something that gives me lots i go for the lots oh, yeah. <laughs> well, but you still like, make use of it right yeah. You know? oh, yeah like that's the thing it's one of those and, and you're always thinking of the space allocation right yeah. it's like well if something will give me a lot more on the space used then yeah. that's what we gotta go for. yeah yeah that's sort of the mindset right but anyways last so oh. garlic pickles and dill nice. from the garden. Oh. Yeah, like so. <laughs> there is though. I took some to work and to share with the girls at work, and they could not believe how garlic we were. So like, be prepared to have like a big kick. Oh, that's I did a like little em. over. That's how we garden. like them. <laughs> they're strong. <laughs> they're good. <laughs> this is awesome because we didn't get any pickles, any we got cucumbers. Like two? We got two cucumbers off of our plants wow. this year. Wow. It was a horrible cucumber year. So yeah, Alex and I were sad on the pickle front. <laughs> Because I was like, oh, no pickles. But I said, I did say to her I would break down and buy some if I had to. But we still have some from last year, but I do like them fresh. Very much better. <laughs> but, yeah. Thank you very That's much. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I'm like, I had to bring something. I know. <laughs> no, you didn't. You found it. I did. But all my stuff. I did. Thor got a burnt lasagna. Oh. And <laughs> oh, yes, he's a yeah. <laughs> it was rubber. All right, so we got back quite late last night. It was dark. And I wanted to do a video of bringing the new chickens home, but um, we couldn't, we wouldn't be able to see anything. But we did get home, we managed to get home. We had a great visit. Um, we really enjoyed getting to um, know Stephanie and Chris. And uh, Angie and I, we had, we had a blast. And it was really fun. Um, I will, I'm just gonna show you now what the chickens look like. They are gorgeous, they're so pretty. And um, so we just need to kind of get them used to being in their new home for, um, I like to do like between four and five days and then we'll let them out and I'll show you how they um, get along with their new chickens. So basically what we're going to do is they're going to free range with our regular chickens and our Buff Orpington rooster and just have separate quarters for the night and that usually works out well. So anyways, here they are. <laughs> Hello.
Her colorings are quite beautiful. This is the lightest one. She's got a lot of kind of copper colors in her. He's got a lot of, oh, there it is. You can see it. They're just not used to people being so close with them right now, so. Anyways. I think they're gonna do well. Um, we're gonna need to put their feet up. They're getting all their shavings in their feet. We do notice that the lightest colored hen, the copper, this, this lady here, she's quick. She, I don't know, she's gonna own them all because she seems to be pecking at all of them. He is exactly what we were hoping for. Good job at picking him out. He's wonderful. Thanks, guys. So we just need to make some nest boxes now for these guys, which will be here. And uh, we're going to close this section in. So we've got some work to do. And I believe Stephanie said they're around four months, if I'm correct. What I really like about this breed is that they don't have very large combs. As you can see, she pretty much doesn't have any comb. Um, the rooster, he has a little bit of a comb, which makes some really great winter hardy birds. Oh, there she is picking on them again. 